Here we go. Five naturalists on a backpacking adventure. Meet Janet, Sam, Jackie, Jen, and you know this nerd. All right, we're on yellow blazes now. Officially on the ice age. Backpacking in fall is one of my favorite times of year to go. As you can see, we were definitely treated with quite the showing of fall color. I've never seen so much yellow in my life. Oh my gosh. Yellow, I think is it's Xana. Okay, someone keep track of all the things we're gonna Google when we get to Xanaphil yeah. <laughs> or Xanthophil, okay. I forget. That makes it yellow. Pigment. Number one. Because the yellow and red function is like a sunscreen for the leaf, right? To protect like the remaining functioning parts of it. Red, purple, brown are like that. They're produced at fall. Yellow and orange are there all year, okay. hidden behind the chlorophyll. Oh, and yep. they come out as the chlorophyll production drops. Yeah. You eat that? Yeah. You can eat it right now. Ground cherries? What does it taste like? Tomatoey. What? <laughs> I didn't know you could eat these. Oh, they're, they're, um, these are edible? They're usually sweet. You People grow them, Julia. I didn't know yeah, that. Garden. So this is fine to eat like this. It's not perfect. I feel like these aren't as ripe as they should the, be. Uh, but Brownish. Yeah. Are these native to a prairie habitat? I mean, it cooks right. They definitely are right there. But I feel I like see eventually it would taste good. Okay. What's hiding in there? A you midge. <laughs> Goldenrod midge. Hiding in that gold. Yeah. And those are edible too, right? Whoa, little little that? little protein <laughs> snack. <laughs> Around every corner we were finding something new and cool, like this next plant that you wouldn't even know is actually a plant. It's it's American right? tansy root. That's from last what year. What is family. saprocytic? Saprocytic is where it, um, it's parasitic to mycelium. So it feeds off the mycelium. So it, it doesn't have chlorophyll. So and what's my fungus serum? is parasitic, fungus. Okay. saprophytic, <laughs> fungus. fungus. Okay, so it's either living off the roots, it's, if it's parasitic, it's living off of living, if it's saprophytic, it's living off of living. We were having a great time talking all things botany, geology, wildlife, you name it. Topped off with this leaf collage. Hazel, this is cool. Walking, walking through the witch hazel forest. The witch hazel forest. <laughs> this is awesome.
Devil's Lake, here we come. Oh, a turkey vulture just flew over. Break time. Soon after our break, we began to be treated with the views that oh. Devil's Lake had to offer. Oh yeah, all right. I'll bust out the hot chocolate. Oh. Bluffs at Devil's Lake State Park are believed to have formed about 1.6 billion years ago, making them one of the oldest rock outcroppings in North America. The park is world-renowned for its geological features, appreciated and explored by rock climbers and geologists alike. If you're a rock nerd, this is the place to be. Quartzite rock formations of plenty. Sam and I made a deal. She would carry the box wine, and I would carry the tent. Cheers. <laughs> We are up while the moon's still out. Hopefully she get packed up out of camp before some thunderstorms roll in. So, fingers crossed. Hiking out of camp, day two. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> Getting the rain gear on. Rain geared up. Rain came in earlier than anticipated. <laughs> the rain came in earlier than anticipated and heavier than anticipated. I didn't even film much the first couple hours of the trip. Not even two miles in and I was completely drenched and my feet were soaked. I had recently purchased new trail shoes that were not waterproof. They immediately were soaked through, so it definitely took some getting used to walking with completely wet feet. Well, turkey vultures sitting on a dead tree out here. Feel ya, buddy. Made it through the first part of the last segment of the day. Still smiles. Really wet and cold. Last bit left. It works. 
right? <laughs> oh, innovation at its finest. It may look funny in the video, but Sam's homemade rain cover for her pack worked better than the rest of ours. I believe this is a fruticose type lichen called British British soldiers. British soldiers. Will you offer us some tea on this cold day? We can verify that and then, you know, come I'm wrong. Oh. The finish line. <laughs> oh. <laughs> we did. Dun, dun, dun. So, so. You can do it. The finish line's right here. Coming into the home stretch. Nux. Nice. Nux. Nice. Boom, we did it. And that's a wrap, everyone. We had a blast. Would highly recommend these two Ice Age Trail segments. Hope you enjoyed the video.